In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the train body. So first thing we're going to do is start our sketch. So I'm going to start it on the X, Y plane. And for this one, let's see. Um, I'm going to start making mine. There's actually a bunch of different ways you can do this. So the way I'm going to do it this time is making it from kind of the shape of the back of our train. So I am going to start that by making, I guess, first a circle. Okay, and if you're wondering why I'm making a circle for the back of our train, is I am doing this radius right here. So I'm going to put that in times 2. So 2.35 times 2. I'm going to hit the home button so I can see what I'm doing. So right now it might not be making much sense for you for what I'm currently doing. But what I'm going to do next is kind of put in just some lines right now. Just making sure that they're nice 90 degree angles and touching the outside of our circle. Okay, I'm going to trim the outside of the circle. So now you can kind of see what I'm getting to. So I'm kind of making this shape right now. All right, so this very edge to this center of our circle right here is this dimension. So it is 0 0.375. All right, and then our next thing, from this edge over to that point again, oops, pressed in the wrong spot. Let me undo that. Okay, this line, there, there we go. All right, so this one is one inch. All right, and then looking over here, we can see that this edge going down to here is two inches. So going from this side to this side, it is two. All right, so now we can finish and extrude. So I'm going to extrude this. Let's see, this distance. Where can I find that one? Oh, here it is. So it's going to be on this top image right here. So going down. Here's our number. So this is 1.75. All right, so we kind of have this back piece right here. Now I'm going to create a sketch on this front section. And I'm going to draw in this piece right here. So first things first, we're going to project geometry. So we have some points to connect to. And we're going to use the three point rectangle. The reason for that is I want to connect to this corner connect to this corner, and then go up. And I'm going to type in this dimension to show you that you can do this. So if you're looking over here, it probably looks super messy to you. But if you follow this edge, go over, keep going over, up. Oh, here's the arrow, look down. And there is our value, so 0 0.88. All right, so you can type in dimensions as you're going. You don't have to like go to the dimension tool and then go back. So I'm going to put in a circle. I'm not going to center this one. The reason why is I'm going to show you where it needs to go. All right, and this one, we can see that it has a radius, because this piece right here, of 0.75. And then we could do times 2, because we're putting in a diameter, not a radius. All right, so we can see here that this bottom rectangle is blue. It's locked in place. Where, oh where we need it to be. And we need this from this very bottom edge. That dimension, if we go from this center mark over, okay, is 1.28. All right. You can see this isn't centered quite yet, so we're going to center it. So if you look down here, it goes all the way down one inch. All right, so now everything's blue, fully constrained. We can finish our sketch and extrude this section right here and this bottom section. So if you're looking over here and trying to figure out exactly what dimension it is, there isn't a one just for that, but there is dimension for the whole train. And we know what the distance of the back of it is, so we can just kind of do a little bit of an equation in here. So point, sorry, 5.5 .5 minus... 1.75. That would give us our train. 
All right, so now we just kind of have the basic shape. Kind of looks like how it is up here. And we still need to do this little cutout. All right, so what we're going to do now is start a sketch right here. I'm going to project geometry. And I'm going to do this in a couple different pieces. So I'm going to do this first with a two-point rectangle. All right, and I made sure that my two-point rectangle is connected to this yellow line. And I'm going to start dimensioning. Uh, actually, I can't dimension all of it quite yet, but I'm going to dimension this part right here. So we can see this is the little rectangle part that I'm talking about. That is a quarter inch from the edge, so we can put in that dimension. All right, and our next thing, I'm going to use the center point arc, so I'm going to make sure it's centered. Go here, all the way over, make sure it connects. All right, so we know that our radius of this is half an inch. All right, and we know from the center point to the very bottom, okay, center of our arc going over is 1.75. All right, so now we have our little section drawn in. So we can finish sketch, extrude, okay, this piece, this piece, okay. And instead of setting it to a distance, we're gonna put it to all. All right, the reason for that is it cuts through the entire part. We're gonna click okay. All right, so right now we have a pretty good looking train, looking more like a train now. And here's where I'm gonna show you how to use the fillet tool in a new way. So if we look over here, we have a note. So you can see everything's nice and kind of boxy, nice sharp edges, but for the actual train body, it's not gonna have nice sharp edges. So we're gonna round all of our edges. So if you click round all, you don't have to click on everything. So personally for me, I kind of like it also with the fillet all. Um, I'm gonna leave that part up to you, but personally, I think it looks a little nicer. And then I'm gonna click okay. All right, so that's how you can use that tool for the fillet tool really quick. And the reason why we're doing it now instead of later is if we drilled all these holes in, it would try to also add the fillet or the round to all of those holes. Well, actually, they'd all be rounds. So it would try to add the rounds to all of the holes, and that's not what we want. So we had to do it right now instead of later so we could use the hole, or sorry, the round all and fillet all check boxes instead of having to click individually, because there are a lot of them. If I go back to here, let's see. Yeah, for the rounds, there's 29, so you'd have to get 29 of them. And, oh, I just noticed I actually made a mistake, so good thing I clicked on that. I forgot to check the dimension. So, it's gonna be 0.1 for all of these. All right, so now they're the right size. I was wondering why it looked a little off. Now we're gonna put in the holes for, and we'll do the front of the train. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna use the point tool. So I'm gonna put in three points, making sure they're not lined up with anything else. And I'm gonna use the project geometry. So for project geometry, we're gonna click on this, oops, this edge and this edge. All right. So from the very bottom for these two, if you look very closely, again, I know it's a mess of dimensions, but you gotta kinda pay attention very closely to things. So over here and this one. All right, so going from bottom over, this one is point one two five. All right, if we look at it very closely, the other one is the same. All right, so from the very bottom edge, 0.125, so I'm gonna show you another new thing. So if you click on your other dimension, you can see it brings up a number, so it'd be D and a number. What that's doing is it's referencing that old one, so if I click okay, they're gonna be the same, and I'm just gonna change this to just another number, uh, let's change it, I don't know, nine, just so they move up. So you can see how that one changed to the same thing. All right, now I'm gonna change it back to the proper dimension and they both move back at the same amount. So it's useful for some things, um, depends on what you're doing. All right, and for this one, for our height, 
let's see, this is for this one, for our top hole that's going to be drilled in. We're going to go over, and here's our value. All right, so for this one, it's 0.625. All right, and let's see, this one is lined up in the center. So if we go from here over, so that's one, or one inch. If we go from this side to this first one that I added in, we go down, go over. All right, so that one is 0.375. All right, and now for that last one. All right, so this one we go down, over, and it's 1.625. All right, now we're going to finish our sketch and use the hole tool. So the nice thing about the hole tool is because we put in those points, it automatically finds them and adds in what you need it need to be there. Also, if you have more than one sketch right now, it's not going to automatically select them. So if you do have that issue, that's why. Okay, so now we're going to look at one of these. We can look right here. So this is the information for all of these parts or the holes. So we have 0.125 for the depth and 0.125 for the diameter for all of them. We could just click OK. All right, next I am going to put the holes in for the side. So again, put in two points, make sure they don't lock into anything by mistake. Project geometry, so we need to know this very bottom edge. And just looking for where these dimensions are from, it's this edge right here. So we need to know this very edge. OK, so from the bottom, they are both half an inch. So I'm going to put that in first because it's a little bit easier to do because they're both the same. Oh, almost got that one close. All right. So from this one to the very back edge, that is, let's see, up oh, right here. So 4.5 and our other one. Okay, so we gotta find it, go down, it's one inch. All right, so finish sketch, hole, and again, because we only have one sketch, it's gonna automatically do that. And you can see it pulls in the information that we had for the last one, that's not what we need, so we gotta change this a little bit. So for termination, we need through all, because it's going through the entire thing. All right, and this one's going to be threaded. So how to add in thread is actually this little button right here. So we're going to click on that. And you can see how we have a whole bunch of information. So we need full depth for these because the depth needs to be all the way through. And the size, let's see, we need a quarter inch for the size of the hole. That's the first thing, quarter inch. And our designation, we can see that that matches what we have on our sheet. Then we can click OK. So we can turn it over here. We can see that there's thread on this side. If you do not see thread on this side, that means you forgot that checkbox for full depth. All right, so next one, we're going to do the hole on the back. All right, if you followed the directions up to this point, you can actually just put the point tool directly on that hole, or that point. <laughs> the reason for that is that circle that we put in originally is based off of this point. Okay, so a little bit of a shortcut if you plan ahead. Use the hole tool. Again, our termination is not through all. We need it to a distance. We do not have thread anymore, so we're going to switch it back to just kind of simple hole. Okay, and... Let's see, we have a diameter, so we're gonna go to the diameter part, of quarter inch, and our depth is a half inch. All right, so everything's looking good. We just have one more hole to put in, this one right here. This is where it gets a little bit tricky because we gotta use the plane tool. So we want it on this surface, and we want it kind of lined up with this one. 
All right, so here is our plane. All right, the little bit of weird thing about the plane is if you click on this blue section right here, you're going to be clicking through it. But if you click on the yellow line, you're clicking on it. So that's another spot where students sometimes get stuck. All right, so we're going to use our point tool again. Make sure you don't select any lines, so we don't need those. So we're going to project our geometry, so we need it from this front edge right here. Okay, and this one is nice and centered. All right, so we know from here to here, it's one inch, because it's centered on our train. And from this part over, we can see right here. Okay, so that is 0.88. All right, finish sketch. Now again, our hold tool. And for this one, let's see, I'm gonna change it to a flat bottom. And our diameter, oh, our diameter this time is a half an inch, and our depth is a quarter inch. So it kind of flips from the last one we just did. And then click OK. So right now we still have this work plane. To make this invisible, do not delete. It'll delete the hole. You got to uncheck visibility. Right. So here is our train. So we have the hole in the back, thread going through the other side. All right, and everything is all set. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to show you how to make the work drawing, or at least get it started.